Welcome to Theotrade. This is Don Kaufman. Here we are. It's December 13th, 2017. You are watching the Theo Night video. First, a quick update here in terms of Bitcoin futures. Yeah, you know, Bitcoin has really been kind of the talk of the town and specifically the talk of the trading community lately. But you almost have to wonder, well, where's the volume over here? Because the Bitcoin futures, they haven't necessarily taken off like I believe many people anticipated they would. All right, like any product, it's going to take a while for many traders to get a better feel for this. Also, if you take a look at the uh, kind of the Bitcoin chart since its inception. Now, again, this is Bitcoin futures over here. What you will see is uh, pretty alarming. I mean, this is a one hour chart and uh, well, what's alarming about it is when you start to recognize this is 15,000 short time after it's up to uh, 18,500. And uh, this is just the uh, the last few hours of trade <laughs> coming off from the mid 18,000 down to the 16,500 level. So again, the Bitcoin, uh, the Bitcoin futures, they're not exploding in terms of volume, but we're going to watch them carefully for more and more opportunities. It looks like it's going to take a little bit of time to get settled in to the futures contract. And I'm not speaking of, of you or me trading the futures contract, but it takes time for the market making firm to recognize and figure out really how not only to anticipate risk, but to how to control the risk. Now, while you know we're talking about Bitcoin futures, one of the things that's really apparent that I think kind of falls by the wayside because right now, you know, people are caught in like Bitcoin mania and they have tendency to completely forego, all right, what you're doing with your portfolio. And you want to talk about mania. Let's go over to the SPX, better known as the S&P 500. And we're going to bring up a chart for a bit of a longer period on the S&P 500. I'm going to bring up a 10-year monthly, again, on the SPX, just the S&P 500, obviously bottoming, uh, bottoming out in early 2009 in the 600 handle, now trading ultimately, yeah, that's correct, 2,671. I mean, the interesting irony, I think, of this is you have this $660 product and you just add 2,000 to it on percentage terms, okay? Just percentage terms. This is just, it's unprecedented. And again, I think everybody's got their head, you know, turned to Bitcoin because it's all about, you know, what? Instant coffee, instant tea. Everybody wants to learn how to make kind of fast money over here. You have to recognize, all right, how far we have ultimately come since the bottom over here. And, you know, when I like to reference Bitcoin again for a second, when you look at the Bitcoin market, you know, the market cap is a few hundred billion. Well, people kind of forget the sheer magnitude of the S&P. But the one thing, you know, that I guess really today kind of stands out is you're looking at a marketplace today that happens to be rallying. And we still have about an hour left in the trading session, but the marketplace is rallying and everybody's going on humdrum. Don't worry about it. My 401k is fine. You know, I've got mutual funds or you've got a stock portfolio or an IRA. It's all fine. Except today, they just raise interest rates, right? They raised interest rates yet again today. And then they said they're on track for another three rate hikes in 2018. And nobody is paying attention to the fact that regardless, okay, of where the S&P happens to be, we have to recognize, all right, at this point in time, the Fed, and I'm just speaking of our Fed, on their balance sheet has plus, it's north of four, okay, trillion on the balance sheet that they now have indicated, first of all, they're not adding anything to the balance sheet anymore. They're subtracting from the balance sheet and they're hiking interest rates. And uh, nobody's looking at this and going, yeah, no, no, don't worry. Don't worry. You know, we just added, you know, 2,000 SPX points and, you know, it's a decade. But let's, let's talk about Bitcoin. It's absolutely insane. Now, this is not, this is not an argument per se about being bullish or bearish. This is an argument about risk reduction, okay? This is an argument about 
everybody on the street sees this coming and yet people are doing nothing to their portfolios. Here, Goldman Sachs warns that market valuations are higher, okay, than and really the highest that they've been in the last century. So their highest level since 1900, risk scenario sees inflation jump that ushers what they call fast pain. Fast pain is an explosion of volatility. This is the Bank of International Settlements. By the way, these are just out of Bloomberg articles. Bank of International Settlements. If you don't know what that is, it's the Fed of the Fed, okay? Joins the chorus, stock valuations are looking frothy, okay? Then we actually have Case Shiller showing P.E. ratios are absolutely flying at this point in time, right? Then we actually have the second largest pension fund manager in the United States saying stocks are sitting on a pin cushion over here. Nobody's listening. Quants. Quants are coming out of the woodwork. If you have no idea what a quant is, quantitative trader, it's usually a mathematically inclined trader. These are the ones you really want to listen to right now because they're telling you, you know, hey, quants find stocks need a better hedge than bonds. You can't even buy bonds in the current market conditions over here. So lots of hedges are disappointing. That's coming out of PIMCO. PIMCO happens to be the absolute, you know, king in bonds probably better in that business than anybody. And this is where I have to say, decisions have to be made. If you have a 401k, you have an IRA, you have any long stock positions. Listen, I'm not here to tell you you need to get out of the positions, but I am telling you, you need to learn to mitigate your risk. And I'm gonna show you a quick structure of a strategy to mitigate that risk right here, right now. Now, I'm gonna zoom in, okay, to a tighter time frame. I'm gonna jump over to the spiders, and I'm gonna draw directly on the charts over here to kind of make a quick point. Because if you have a 401k, now I recognize that your 401k, okay, could be sitting with an account that you can't really touch, all right? So it's a little bit of a bubble, and over here happens to be that 401k. And it's in a bubble, and you may have, I don't know, $50,000 in it. Uh, you could have $600,000 in it, neither here nor there. Now, you cannot likely that you cannot trade options inside of that 401k. But at the same time, you could have a separate, this could be a taxable or an IRA, okay? So let's assume that up here we have an IRA or just a regular taxable account, right? And that's a taxable account. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a hedge. We're gonna do a risk control in this account to hedge the 401k. Now, what I'm going to show you, the hedge, this can work, all right, for stock positions. If you just have a couple of stocks, because going out there and reducing risk on individual stocks is commission intensive. So if you have like, you know, for instance, more than five stocks, this will apply to you. If you have an IRA with a mutual fund, you have a 401k with a mutual fund, it'll apply to you. Again, anybody that has holdings that are quote unquote, long the marketplace, think about how much risk you happen to have, right? And People know that I'm talking about the spiders here. You know, you, you want to talk about some risk? Hey, maybe you got some positions there over in the NASDAQ, which is just totally insane at this point. So as I zoom in over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a position that will ultimately block risk right here, okay, at the $262 level in, in the spiders. So how we're going to do that, we're just going to go out there. It's a pretty simple idea. We're going to turn around and we're going to buy puts, okay? We're going to buy puts, and we're going to buy a 262 put. Now, it won't get any expirations, nothing like that. You buy puts. What does the put give you the right to do? It gives you the right to sell at 262. Now, you don't even own any spiders, but the spiders probably mimic what you had over here in that 401k. So let's say, for example, here we are, you know, 267, it's an all-time high, and by the way, I'm doing this today because it's an all-time high. It's a perfect time to discuss this. So you're at 267 and the market just comes tanking down. Let's say the market in the next month is all the way down at 250, okay? You have the right to sell the stock at 262, but you don't have any stock. Yeah, well, guess what? The 262 puts with the market sitting at 250 are gonna be worth a minimum of $12, okay? So you're gonna get that $12 back. Here's the best part of it. We're gonna teach you a way to finance, to finance the cost of these puts, 
right? So ultimately, you're going to get the 262 puts and have still a lot of potential upside while mitigating the risk, okay? The other aspect is, listen, if the markets continue higher, let's think about that. Let's say the markets don't tank. Let's say the markets are as wild as we started with Bitcoin, right? And the S&Ps and the spiders, they go all the way to 300. You know what you do at that point? You lock it in. How do you lock it in? We're gonna go out there and we're gonna actually teach you how to ratchet these puts up. And if it goes higher, we'll ratchet that up. But with the fact that the Fed has $4 trillion in a balance sheet, and they're reducing it and they're raising interest rates, if that doesn't intimidate you, okay? If the fact that Goldman Sachs, Bank of International Settlements, the second largest pension fund manager, PIMCO, okay? All of them collectively are telling people, hey, this thing is gonna usher in fast pain and it's gonna be wild out there. You have to do what's right for your portfolio because one day, one trading day, you could get a 10% decline inside of the S&Ps. And that's where, oh no, no, easily a 10% decline inside of the S&Ps. That is what fast pain ultimately amounts to. Now, back to the example in here, okay? We can actually show you how to put these hedges on, all right, without having to pay, for instance, the dollar or $2 for the puts. Because here's the 262 puts. That's just for the next 37 days and cost $1.27. We're gonna offset the cost of those puts, okay, by selling other options against it. People, this stuff is not going to be wildly complicated, okay? We've got a class coming up on it and again, when I say decisions have to be made, we're talking specifically about your 401k. We're talking about your IRA, right? The class coming up, it's reducing risk and maximizing returns blueprint. It's what we call the atomic hedge strategy. Yeah, the class costs $197. It's 197 bucks though to learn how to mitigate risk of your portfolio. The class is coming up, it's gonna be this coming Saturday, it's December 16th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Time, the class is recorded. If you can't make it, I totally get it. You go to the web address right here on your screen. It's theotrade.com forward slash blueprint. Again, it's theotrade.com forward slash blueprint. In the class, we will teach not just about a strategy, okay, but it's about the specific entry and exit criteria every step of the way because the bottom line is we don't want to see a repeat of 2000, 2001, or 2008. You know, I, I worked in the brokerage industry for 15 years and I watched a lot of people lose 50 or 60% of their life savings, okay? 08 was absolutely disastrous. But of course, now they think, ah, it's all right, I got it back. I got it back over here. Yeah, and if you want to retire in a couple of years, you better learn how to mitigate or control that risk. And that's what we're gonna do. The entire class is about a step-by-step -step workshop to show you how to systematically put those okay, hedges on. In addition, the class will also offer a couple of bonuses. It's options 201, okay, which is vertical and calendar essentials, right? We will also have a five-part series for the Greeks, Delta, Theta, Gamma, Vega, and a position management course, okay? Last but definitely not least, the beginner's guide to hedging. Again, hedging is reduction of risk and a capital allocation class. All of this, again, it's on demand. Now the class is live, the bonuses are on demand, class is live, again, this Saturday, December 16th, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Time, theotrade.com forward slash blueprint. Thanks everybody for joining us this evening here at Theotrade. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.